Alrighty, good morning everyone. We are officially live on the NCDA channel. Daniel, how do you feel about this, man? I mean, I'm ready to go. This is a this is a big op this is the first time for the NCDA, I believe, right? First, I think I think you're right, man. Remote broadcast, yeah. Yeah, remote broadcasting. This is this is different. Now, for those of you watching this at home, um, you're seeing this on the Ohio State dodgeball stream, um, which obviously they're going to be in 60 frames per second, either 720 or 1080. Uh, for us, you might see it probably in 30 frames per second, so the gameplay might be a little bit slower. So there might be some delays in audio here and there, um, but we are like watching this like in real time as well. To the best of our ability, so should be a fun should be a fun time. Um, yeah, for sure. But yeah, with that being said, Daniel, um, what games are you most excited for on game one? Uh, I'm most I'm pretty much most excited for the as someone who is, is used to the uh, the East Coast kind of being. Uh, not an unknown to the Michigan and Ohio teams of the league. I'm, I'm interested to see what Penn State and uh, and JMU can do against some of the top teams in the league, like Grand Valley, Cincinnati, Ohio, some of the other contenders, and see if they themselves can cement as a title contender early on this season. Because we really haven't seen any interregion play thus far. That's right, absolutely. Because normally, when it comes to um, different opponents playing against one another. Uh, it normally takes place in Ohio because uh, they've been pretty good just bringing everybody together yep. to one central location. Yeah, Akron's done a really good job this year and and in the past about kind of being a bridge for the uh, the East Coast and then Ohio and Michigan. So it's it's been a good it's been a good meeting place. I know Towson, JMU, and Penn State have all made multiple trips to Akron. The past uh, years. Oh yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I'm definitely looking forward to when, um, you know, Akron. Hold on. Let me go ahead and mute that a little bit. Seems like they're getting rowdy now. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, but, yeah, uh, I'm definitely excited when both Akron and uh, Kent State, you know, would make the drive to Happy Valley because I definitely yeah. know, like, some East Coast teams, you know, like Maryland and uh, UVA is definitely looking forward to that. Yeah, I believe Ohio State's making that trip as well, so that that should be a good tournament. Oh, that's going to be a great tournament. Yeah. yeah. All right, and we're getting started. We're all off here. Nothing on the rush. All right, so first of all, we want to give a big appreciation for the Ohio State University for getting to stream up. Greatly appreciated with the camera action. Um, it seemed like both teams just kind of filling each other out. Yeah, and I didn't see any kills yet. Not not for our end. Ethan and um, Ian on the left-hand side from Ohio State. Pretty sure that was number 10. Ian who just drew the ball. It's, uh, yeah, uh, less, I think it's Evan, Evan. Sorry, Evan. Evan. Yeah, Evan. yes, yes, you're, you're, you're good. Right, right, right. Ethan is number thirteen. My apologies for that, sir. Yeah. He, he's going to give me a hard time for that. But uh, oh, they, they, they had to put Ethan and Evan on the same side just to mess with you, should he? I'm serious, man. I am serious. They do that every time. But yeah, it looks like there haven't been no kills thus far for either team, from based off my knowledge. Yeah, not not what I saw. But yeah, Ohio State is definitely pushing up towards the front. But as you can see right here, GV is really comfortable just playing the transition game. Uh, GV, they, they seem pretty content to sell in the back line right now. Oh, yeah. 
I mean, like, real comfortable. Oh, there's the kill. That's a kill right there for Ohio State, I believe. There's another. I think that was Ethan and uh, that was Ethan and Ryan with the team throw there. Nice kill I, on the left. I think so. Yeah. We got some of the GV players uh, who got numbers in Jersey. The rest of the team, we don't have that. So our apologies for that. Um, players that we do have number four. We got number one Ben Smart. Yeah. Already know who he is. I got number two. I've got number 11, Matt. Number 11, Owens. Number 60, Tyler Peace. Number 3, um, Alice Gonzalez. Number 55. Um, we got Aaron Pope. Number 24, Jacob. Number 4, and um, Darnell. Number 5. Uh, everybody else, uh, it's a mixer of freshmen, sophomores, and juniors who, unfortunately, we do not have their names. We do not have their jerseys. Yeah. Um, so if we just say, "Hey, GV player got out," trust me, it's not an indictment against y'all. We just don't have the yeah, jerseys. We, we, we just don't have. We just don't have the identifier here. Ooh, that was a good kill right there. Yeah, that was. That was. He did not see that at all. Yeah, that was a good cross. Good cross, number ten for the Ohio State University, and it definitely seemed like the Buckeyes are definitely gaining momentum. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, he's really active. This Ohio State team seems a lot. Uh, they seem like they have a lot stronger throwers, which has not always been the case for Ohio State in the past. They're usually a big catching team, but this team seems like they want to be aggressive and push the pace a little. Yeah, oh, yeah. When I saw Ohio State last year, um, there was definitely like play like a way more methodical pace. Um, Kind of like how you guys do, just kind of do it just yep. a little bit differently. But yeah, yeah, this team here, they they want to push the tempo. They want to push the oh, yeah. issue. I mean, it's working so far. What is GV Grand Valley? How many people do they have left? Ooh, seven. Oh, I think yeah, Gonzalez just went down. Yeah, he did. Miss catch. Let's see what Owens going to do. All uh, right, Owens one of their stronger. I think he might be their next best player, but after Ben Smart and Tyler Peach, so getting him out. Be I think for, you're. Uh, yeah, I think you're right. Got those hard. Yeah, he does. He does. It seemed like the numbers kind of dwindled down for a higher state as well. So yeah, kind of out of nowhere too. Is we didn't really notice, but yeah, we definitely missed that all. I guess they've been picking them off on the counters a bit. Yeah, Thomas just went down on that exchange yeah. number 78. And I think Ohio State, if they're not careful, they're going to be on a 10 count real soon. They lose another player. Uh, this, is what, this is what Grand Valley does, though. They're, they're never out of the point, no matter how many men they're down. They're methodical, and they, uh, they hit their targets. So, Absolutely. You, you're going to have to play them hard for the yeah. whole match. The whole match. Oh. Oh, Ethan was sleeping there. I know, man. You got to pay attention to that. Let's see what Ben and Ethan's going to do. Drop catch. Oh, oh uh, I think Owen just got Ethan there. I oh, think he... Nope, he's still in. He's still nope, in. he's still in. He's still in. Good throw by Ethan. Nah, they're going hard after Owen here. They got to, man. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the game plan. Yeah, he's it's playing. Hard, it's hard to see who's in on the on the far side of the court for Grand Valley, but it seems like Owen's the, the prime, easily the primary thrower right now. Yeah, good block right there by Ben in the middle for a higher state. Ben Smart way on that left-hand side with the high reset throw. They will count it. Good block. All right, good reset throw. All right. I 
Yeah, also Grand Valley. I, I, I tagged them. They're, they're, never, they're never out of it, especially when Ben Smart's in. So They're not. Ohio State is playing this point extremely well. Yeah. Ben tried to go after Ben, but didn't quite. Ohio State yet, which... Yeah, not yet. Not yet. Can't make the mistakes here. Looked like somebody made a mistake. Oh, oh they just caught they just caught Ben. Yeah, they the, did. It's not just off the screen that Ben Smart is out now. Good block by Ben. Going after Owens. No dice. Pretty sure GV's on the tank out now. Yeah. Yeah, they definitely slowed down the pace considerably. Couple resets there. Yep. Is that ground? Is that a catch? Is that what the ref is saying? I, I think they called it a trap. I think they yeah. called it ground. Yep. That could have been bad for us to stay there. It could have been, yeah. Let's see how they're going to respond. When you're trying to knock off the top team, you can't make. You won't be able to play perfect. Like I said, they've been playing this point thus far extremely well. Yeah, no, they have. And that's that's what you got to do. And they got they picked the best way to get Ben Smart out by not throwing at him. I hope he throws a catch. Yeah, yeah, that would do it, man. That would do it. Both teams blocking his own point. Ooh. Almost almost caught him on the cross there. Almost. It's not enough reach. Oh, even miss. Dang. I think, yeah, I think... Did, did, did that guy get Ethan there? I'm not for sure, but... They're just, they're uh, they they got it. They got him on the counter on the exchange though. They got the, the GV guy, which man, you can't, you can't be making trades if you're GV right now. Nah, not like that. Oh, and uh, just, I think Owen just got caught there. I think he, he did. That's, oh, they, is it, they have one left, two left. All right, it seemed like uh, my man PG, PJ. If I believe this, oh, assist. balls over, balls yeah. over. Uh oh, and I think that's balls over against Ohio State, right? Yep. Oh boy! Yeah. All ten GV. Uh, it looks like I can see one in. All right, two, so maybe. Yeah, yeah, so we yeah, so we see two. It's it's hard over over in that the far corner piece. Yeah, it's hard and to we, see who's in. And I can tell based off of his off of his um his clothing that um. Arnold from Ohio University is most likely going to be the head ref for this game. Yep. But yeah, two player. It seemed like two players left for GV, and we're going to assume more than two for the Buckeyes. I mean, I don't think this necessarily hurts Ohio State, though. Yeah. No. They've got the strong catchers, and I don't think either of these guys are GV's top throwers, so. No. I mean, like I said, we know that Ohio State is also a really good catching team. Yeah. Um, that's kind of like where they put their – that's their bread and butter. Um, but they're definitely trying to switch things up this year to keep teams on notice. So, 
I'm going to be kind of serious to see how the Lakers going to respond. All right, so they're going for the right-hand side. Team throw, unsuccessful. All right, so I see Peach. Oh, is that, is that, is that Tyler? That's Tyler Peach. That right? is, yeah. yep, that is Tyler yeah, Peach. Yeah, right. And if I'm and correct. Still, you're still in, but I guess. If I'm correct, he's healthy too, so. Yeah. He should be back to his drawing power. Oh, one play left. It's up to Tyler good Peach kill. now. Yeah, that was a good kill right there by Crumper, number 43. Big kill. Yeah, it's just Peach now. Team throw. They got and him. There you go. One zero Ohio State. Wow. But that's a statement first point for them. Systematic. Picked them off. Didn't make any mistakes really, you know. Right. I mean, and honestly, if you're going to play GV, that's how you got to play them every single time. Yep. And you can't deviate from that. Yeah. I mean, besides they left themselves, Ohio State left themselves exposed a couple times on th exposed to counters. But other than that, that was a pretty flawless point, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, without question. No no catches thrown. They uh, they targeted the, they targeted the GV's top players well, so. Catches thrown. Yeah. But yeah, but that's, that's how, that's how you got to play them, man. And that's that's how you gotta play them. Now, with that being said, point goes to Ohio State. It's currently one zero. Like I said, do not be surprised that GV is gonna make um, some trans, you know, some adjustments in this point. Don't be surprised they push the tempo a bit and really try to put the Buckeyes on their back heel. But yes, um, yeah, the scoreboard has not been updated, y'all. But the score is 1 0 in favor of the Buckeyes. Here we go. Point two. Yep. Oh, they're coming out shooting on the run up there. And see who that's. Like, like, GV got one kill, it looked like. High throw by Ethan, no dice. I did not. Wall ball looks like it is in play today, though. Wall's pretty close to the back of the back line. Yeah, so the thing about what's very unique about this particular court in comparison to the other court, which is not that far away, is that wall ball kind of does have a factor. There's like some seams like where you place it correctly, you can't get that yep. rollback. But in other cases, that ball is going to be stuck. Especially with GV sale on the back line, it's gonna be big for them to uh, make sure they're stopping these balls. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm GV right now, that's the strategy. There's, yeah. 
Ethan with a great, great yep. wall ball throw there. Especially yep. I mean, if, it's, if they're sitting on their knees waiting for a catch, you might as well throw it up. And yep. The clock move, and they got a lead too. Yep. They don't got push for anything. And I think GV may have just lost one of their players. All right, so Clumper is going to the right-hand side with a throw. All right. Ethan, the, Ethan throw their block. And I think we just lost a GV player right there. Yeah. And again, we don't know his name, so because we don't have his jersey number, so that's that's why I say just GB players. So just keep that in mind. Oh, good oh, kill by Ryan! Great, great foot shot there. Wow, beautiful. When you're backbone, those are almost impossible to block. The timeout, timeout, GB. Yeah, I think that, I think that's a timeout, man. I think it is, man. Now there's a score. Score's up now, which looks like. Yeah, hold up. That's kind of weird. All right. See if they're dealing with some latency. Hold up, give me a second, guys. There we go. Okay, we good. We yep. good. Yeah, I, I think we're going to see some surprising results today. Even if even if uh, Ohio State doesn't pull this upset off, I mean, I think throughout the day we're going to see some things. Yeah, because that's just the kind of thing that kind of happen in these um in these type of tournaments. All right, we should be situated now. All right, so Ryan's going way up to the front. Jesus. Oh, yeah. What a play. Wow. What a play there. He jumped straight into the throw and he got the kill. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Holy smoke. But he wanted to make sure that GB player was out, though. Yeah. I mean, got him. It's interesting now. I say it seems like now. It seems like they're just pressure. They're, they're pushing back a little bit. Letting yeah. GB come up and try to pick him off, it seems. Not a bad cross. Love the idea, Ethan. I love the idea. All right, Ben Smart just drew. He's kind of frustrated at his teammate because, you know, only supposed to throw one ball at that situation. Yeah. Tom is most likely going to be blocking for Ethan. Good attempt. Yep. Oh. Dang. Ryan just threw a catch, it looks like. Yep. I think he did. Yeah. I think he did. Yep, because we just got to play it back in. And I'm pretty sure that's number 11. Matt. Yep. Here come Gonzalez, high throw, no dice. <laughs> right, let's see what someone's going to do. All right, low throw, no dice.
Benzmar try to get the counter on uh, on the far left. All right, now both teams is kind of just trading back and forth. Ooh, drop catch. Pretty sure Matt got the kill yeah. on Ohio yeah. State. Whatever they're talking about, they gotta figure it out because GB is still. Like they gotta throw there. Right, that's what I'm saying. I see both Owen and Ben on G from GV making a lot of throws, but it doesn't seem like they're getting it. They're yeah, they're, just, they're just waiting. Yeah. Oh, but I think that, uh, who's that? Owen just got someone. 43. Um, 43? Yeah, 43 Crumber just got knocked out. Yeah. Derek, come through, yep. Yep. Oh. Yeah, even did not get the kill off that exchange. Ohio's numbers are definitely down. Oh yeah, like I said, I mean, and, and that's and that's a transition game that we've been yeah. talking about from GV that we knew that that oh, was going to happen. We another, knew this. Yeah, so they've been they're, they're, their their game is a running counter. So yes. Oh, he's just gonna need a catch here, I think. Yeah, he's he just threw oh, a catch. Ethan just threw a catch. So that's he, yeah. not what they needed. Think two left for Ohio State. Nah, looks like one man. Oh no, no, yeah, yeah, yep. And I'm pretty sure that's the rookie of the month too from September. That's uh, Nick Kemmer, I believe. Yeah. Well, I'm not mistaken. Yes. Sheesh! All right, yeah, that, one, that, that was go, was going, going, going. One catch thrown, and then all downhill for Ohio State. Yeah, just like that, the game is tied yeah. one apiece. That leads us back to what we were saying earlier, but you can't make mistakes for Scram Valley. No. Literally zero mistakes, especially. I mean, Ohio State is definitely the they, they're the less talented team. I would think. I, I think many of you would agree with that. And. When you when you're when you're playing with less talent, you really gotta tighten it up. I'm I'm pretty sure. You know, our fellow friends from Columbus, Ohio, would disagree because they're always gonna have faith within their team. Yeah. Um, but I mean, yeah, Grand Valley is a, a different level. Yeah, I mean. I mean, we can tell, like, there's definitely, like, a lot of, like, newer players for Ohio State. Yeah. Um, and also for GV as well. Um, yeah, well, look at Ohio State's roster, a lot of freshmen and sophomores. And same for Grand Valley as well. Yeah. Yeah. We got roughly nine minutes and 33 seconds left. In this point, pretty sure whoever wins this point most likely is going to win the match overall. Yeah, big point here. Yeah, but like I said, both teams have been, you know, when they're up, you know, they're doing well. So yeah, it still is anybody's match thus far. Clock's also going to be a factor in this one. You might see one team, when it gets to five minutes or so, start trying to waste some time running into half if they're down a player or two. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Any, no throws on the run-up this time? Nope.
Vince Marr with the throw. Yep. No dice. Somebody from behind is able to counter. Ryan just wears the counter, and he gets out. Did he get out, though? I, I couldn't tell if that was a happy jump or an angry jump. Yeah, that's that's just the yeah. thing. We're about so to find out. Tell, yeah. yeah. Alright, now we definitely seen GV now pushing the issue now. Looks like uh, Al Gonzalez is over on right corner taking over for Owen. Yep, we see Ben Smart way down to our left, kind of just camping out. That should not count as a reset throw. Pretty sure Matt just got a Ohio State player out. Don't know their number though, unfortunately, from this distance. Yeah, GB is definitely more active in this point. Yeah, no, they're, they're definitely trying to push to get this point in before half. Yeah, Ohio oh, State. Ben yeah, Ben Smart with the kill. If you throw on that corner, he's coming at you. Bro. You better, better believe that. Yeah, I, I, dude. Like, I don't know like what's going on because like both teams was like just going back and forth. Yeah. And it just seems like like within the first two minutes or so, GV has completely just taken the momentum. Yeah, big big momentum shift. I mean, it was halfway through last point. Ohio State threw two catches, and that seemed it they they, they seem like a different team than said. Yeah. Yeah, this is a big shift. Yeah. But that was a big catch, though, by Ohio State. Yeah, big catch. I mean, that, that's what Ohio State's got to do. They got to catch himself out. Yeah, they got Ryan back in. It's big. They gotta find a way to slow this tempo down and really kind of put the game tempo back in their favor. Ryan's in a dangerous spot right now. That all right, we oh we're back. oh here we are we're back we're back. All right, perfect. All right, oh, go. It seems like it seems like Grand Valley's been working in the in the uh, time the stream was down. Yeah, see, I. It's, you know, and that that was the thing. Like, I was like really concerned because I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen. Yeah. Um, based off of just how quickly things just kind of turn against yeah, I mean, Ohio State, and our prediction was not wrong. Ohio well, State's got two left. It looks like. Yeah. I wonder if uh, Derek Kemper is still still hurt because I heard his uh. Throwing, he seems like he's only throwing lefty backhands today. Yeah, I still think he's not quite 100%. Um, I think he's going to have to work through it, though. But yeah, thank you, Ohio State. Is that number team throw? But yeah, thank you, Ohio State, for getting the straight back up. I, I know it's a, it's a tedious task doing this work for many years for the NCDA, so I appreciate y'all. All right, good block right there by Crawford. Last one left. Yeah. It's, yeah, the, the clock's not running, so I don't know how much time exactly we have left. but We're definitely under two minutes and 30 seconds. Actually, two a, players left. And now, oh, one. Yeah, Ben just got out. Now it's up to Crumper. That throw would not count. Timeout. Timeout, Ohio State. They, they got to hope they can run this into half. Yeah, that was a, that was a good call. That was a good call. I mean, you can't you can't take your you can't take your timeouts in the next half, so you might as well use them. Yeah, this was a good yeah that was a good timeout. That was a really really good timeout. Oh. 
I was going to see like what was happening on the Cincinnati stream, but unfortunately they're not up and running. Um, from my understanding. All right, here we go. They're most likely gonna let Crummer throw. Been smart. Got it by the foot. Nope. Ground. Nope. Ground. It was ground. Oh, and, got him. Yeah. So yeah, so but. this this next point is gonna be huge. So But in that same in that same respect though, you can uh you can't play to make these points. You can't play to not get blown out here. You're definitely not gonna win doing that. So Ben yeah, Ben Smart with the kill taking out number thirteen no not I think it was a I think I think a GV got killed on the far side as well, so I think they should change. Go mean some training back and forth right now. We can definitely tell that Ben Smart is both healthy and warmed up. Yeah, huh? He was at a uh, at USA Dodgeball Nationals. He seemed like Ben Prime Ben Smart there. So. Ooh, dang! My man got clapped. Always goes down. In a brutal manner, my goodness. Ooh, and the and the assistant ref from James Madison is not going to count that throw. They will count that one though. That was a nasty cross. Yeah, it was. Good block by Ryan. Good try. Ryan's got to do a good job to stay in for a higher state. Yeah. No, he had a, he had a, he had a rough couple points there. Right I there. know. I know he wanted to play aggressive, but he he got to he got to stay in as long as he can. Yeah, that's a thing. I mean, that, if you're if you're one of the senior leaders on a NCDA team, you just got at a certain point your presence on the court is needed. More than get, get production. Exactly. But speaking of production, Ryan with another kill. Yeah. Uh. I mean, and like I said, we can see the value that Ryan has on the court. Really gives his team a lot of confidence when they see his presence. Yeah. And and that's why he got to stay on the court as long as humanly possible. Um. Pretty sure either that's going to be like a referee timeout or just a regular timeout. Probably discussing a call. Yeah, it's probably an official timeout, it appears. Okay. Like, I, don't, I don't see why they would call a uh, regular timeout, a team timeout. So. Yeah, that makes that makes sense to me, buddy. Well, the state is doing they, – they, they, they do seem – to have made some adjustments, so we'll see if they can hold it on here. They've been playing a lot better than they did late last half. So yeah, I'm I'm happy to I'm happy to see that, man, because I I really want yeah you know Ohio State to play well. Yeah. I I definitely know how it feels to kind of like lose your confidence early on, but you know I'm I'm glad that you know they have responded extremely well. Also hard to maintain that intensity if you get an early lead. I feel sometimes. Yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes you got to be knocked down a little bit to kind of yeah. hit the reset button. Yeah. Oh, did he? He did. I'm not uh, for sure if he did. I think. I don't. Is it? Is he out though? Yeah, I don't know. It looked like a catch, but he may not secure it. And that's why Ryan's kind of like, oh Where man. Bro, he's way out on the court, man. Okay, they gotta call a timeout or something. Yeah, Edmund is livid. All right, balls over against GV. It's huge for a huge for Ohio State. Hopefully, they can put a team smart on one of the, one of GV's top guys. Yeah, that's smart. 
to see though. Yeah, that's that's definitely going to be the break that Ohio State needs. Yeah, yeah. If they're going to get back into this point and into this game. <laughs> yeah, their tripod is completely... Their tripod is completely destroyed. <laughs> that's why. That's why you told me with the duct tape comment. So, if it takes another hit, it's been fun, y'all. We'll go ahead and move to a different stream. <laughs> oh man. Now the GV play goes down. Don't know who that was, but that was a good team throw from a higher state. We do not know how much time is left in the second half, but we're assuming it's more than 22 minutes and 20 seconds. Oh, they caught Ryan there, it looks like. Dang. On the team throw. Dang. Yeah. Hey, those team throws got to have both balls on target. You know, that's the biggest thing. Doesn't have to be your hardest throw, but not nah, be there. It just gotta be accurate. Yeah. All right. So Matt is now pushing up number eleven for GV. Reset throw, solid. No dice, no kill, but it gets the job done. Yeah, I know, Sarah, not Ryan. We, we've we been saying all along that Ryan's got to stay in the game for Ohio State as long as possible. Good kill right there for Ohio State. Much needed. Yeah, that, 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 was, that, was that Nick? I think that was Nick Cameron. Pretty sure that was, man. Rookie of the month there. Rookie of the month doing his thing, rightfully so. Ethan's pushing up. That's a kill. He may have got out of that exchange, but... He decided to take that trade. All right, Matt's pushing up on the right hand side couple of GV players on the left. Will with the reset throw. Kind of helping his teammates get all the way back. Now GV got to make a throw. Good block. Ooh. Another hit towards the tripod, y'all. And not sure how much time we got, but I'm assuming it's between 15 and 17 minutes, I'd guess. Sounds about right, buddy. Like I said, for whatever reason, if this stream goes down, prayerfully it does not, we will move on to another game so that way we can keep the action going. Yep. Although this is the premiere stream because we do got some heavy hitters coming up. So. Yeah. Ooh, that's a kill. Another kill the, against GV. This is definitely the, uh, the heavy hitter quarter of the day. Yeah, so that's why. That's why, like, we can, we're just hoping, like, it doesn't go down. Yeah. <laughs> but we really are hanging on a thread right now. Team catch. Team catch there. Oh, good kill. Great and kill. An, Great an, kill. Another GB player goes down in that exchange. The only thing we saw him on that count is... Like he's looking cross court. GV is now on the 10 count. Ohio State definitely got their confidence up. Oh yeah, I, I appreciate the uh, the comments, sir. Uh, that's 
That's funny. She's saying the tripod's become my new favorite player. Bobbing and weaving. Bob and weave. That's funny. Look like we got two players left for GV. I think we got Matt, number 11, on the right hand side. Hughes. Hughes um, cross row. Crow hop, that is. Good block by GV. Blocking that ball. Just trying to stay alive in this point. Mmm. Will that. Okay, yep. The assistant rep did count that reset throw from, from GV. They're surviving team throws pretty well. Ohio State seems to be a little, a little off target with their throws right now. Just a tad bit. I think in this situation, they're, they're either going to try to go for a bad throw from GV to try to make a catch, or if they push up just a little bit too far to try to gun them down. Oh, amazing catch there. Amazing yep. catch in the back. There's the wow. catch. That's what I'm talking about. That's a bad throw for Matt. Was that, uh, was that, was that Elijah who made that catch? I believe I mean, it might be. And just oh, like up. that. Ohio State point. Just like that, we're tied up. We're tied up now. Yeah. Oh, that, was, that was quite the catch, though. I I saw him on the corner of the screen just diving and held the, held the ball up. Uh, oh, my goodness. And that's, I mean, and listen, if, if you know, if you know that GV... It's not trying to make mistakes. Yeah. You got to force him then. You got to yo, you gotta force him to make that mistake. And in that situation, he knew that he had to get rid of that ball. Because he didn't want to be in a situation where his team was going to have a ball is over. So yeah. they capitalized on that. <sighs> But yeah, now the game is tied. Okay. Yeah, so they're saying that everything's good. Things are still a little bit destroyed, but we'll make it work, so. Hopefully somebody got like a spare tripod somewhere. Yeah. Someone has that. You'd think someone has something. but One will hope, my friend. One will hope. We still do not know how much time is left um, in the game. So we're still trying to figure that out, but... But yeah, but the score is definitely two to two. All right, so we're about less than 16 minutes left. Good to know. There's some yep. latency issues, yeah. Yeah, that's 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 gonna be annoying. Sorry guys, we're just sorry guys, we're just trying to get situated. But yeah, we definitely we definitely hear like that kind of continuation, so 
let me just pull up the Ohio State stream just by itself to see if everything's good to go or if they actually legitimately have any issues. Um, I don't think they are. Okay, so no, not. All right, so. All right, so that just means I just got fixed on my end. Come on. Uh oh. Whoa, that's not what we're looking for, guys. My apologies. That is not what we're looking for. The stream should still be up. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Sorry about that. It seems like they may have. Seems like they may have to put like a new stream up. There we go. All right, we situate now. Okay. Yeah, they may have temporarily kind of put up like a new stream. All right, we're good. We're good. All right. Yep, and Owens goes out once yep, there again. You go. That's big, big start there. That's a big kill. That's a big kill right there. We've got a couple more viewers float, floating in here. We do. It's the old uh, number one is, is on upset alert, so people tune in. Oh, I appreciate that. Yeah, no, we love it. And that's another GV player going down, guys. Momentum is definitely shifting towards the Buckeyes for sure. Yeah, the old, uh, I think the, the old, the national, the landscape here in the NCDA is going to look a lot different after today. Oh, yeah, without question. Even if Ohio State can't finish this game, it's Without question, there's so many big games today. It's bound to absolutely. Oh, did they get that bent out? Will they get that call in their favor? Though? Yeah, that's a big question. Uh, if they if they bend an Owen out, all and All right, here come Peach. Well, with the pump fake, Kynes is chilling, number zero. Ethan with the, I mean, sorry, Ryan with the throw, kind of low. Kinds is forcing GB to push up. Yep. I think Bing did get out. I think they got that call. Pete saying that he got somebody out from Ohio State. They will get that call. Yeah, Ben Smart is definitely out. Ooh, did he catch it? Look like he did. All right, momentum's definitely now shifting back to GB now. They seem to have a couple more players than Ohio State. Oh, I say did get some of the top players for GV out though. So, yeah, but Pe yeah, Peach but is Peach still is still in. Yeah, Tyler Peach is still there. And, and last and last time I checked, Peach is still an All Michigan player. All Spurs. I think he was uh, All American. I believe so. So yeah, like that's not. Yeah. That's not a player I would sleep on. Yeah, no. You're not out of the woods yet. Team throw here. Ooh, yep, definitely oh, got out. No, nope, that's not a catch, sir. <laughs> that's just, yeah, that hit the wall. Yeah, that's a clear out too. Much needed. Peach is pouring down, pouring out somebody. He's 
whoever he pointed at, he is not happy with. He's seen enough of him. Might be pointing at the rookie. Despite all the camera issues, this has been a really good match thus far. Yeah, yeah. All right, hey. that would not count for GB. So they probably want to draw again. Hey, we knew it wasn't going to be perfect with the, uh, the remote stream, so. Oh, uh, no, nah, man. It's it's trial by fire, man. It yeah. really is. Yeah. Especially is, if you're not too familiar with how some of these teams throw and whatnot and how these teams yeah. plays on the court. It's always like trial by fire. Yep. Yeah. Oh, this is this is my first time uh, watching out of these teams this year. Yeah, same. Same. I've watched uh, some of the I've watched Cincinnati, Ohio, some of the other top teams here today, but none of these guys. So, but it's been a great match so far. Yeah, it's been a great match, man. All right, so we just yep. GB pushing up, team throw. Don't think it was quite successful. Peach with the reset throw. Trying to give his teammates some time to get back. Oh, they get timers out. Oh, that was big. Yep, they just picked him off on a counter. That was big. All right, Tom is telling his players to push up. Well, Ohio State, they yeah. got to be really cautious right now. I think Elijah Thomas is definitely the leader on the court right now, I would say. He is. He is. I can't see who else is in on the far side, but... That's not going to count, Matt. That should count for Peach. I'm not for sure if we're going to get another point within this match based off of the time and based, and based off of the playing style. Um, for whatever reason, all right, so that's balls over against Ohio State. So oh, well. if this game is still tied... At the end of regulation, we're going to overtime. But I feel like that's way too early to have that conversation. Yeah, no, um, especially with the balls over for GV. Yeah. Yep. Now, with that being said, if GV scores a point, you know, let's just say hypothetically, it's at seven minutes, and then Ohio State scores another point, and when the clock ends, it's four minutes or under, then we'll be going to overtime. So yep. this is definitely favorable for GB though. Um, we're definitely leaning that this game is probably going to end in regulation, but yep. that's what we're thinking. Um, got the. Oh. Sheesh. All right, he's still in. Oh, he's he survived that. Huh? Yeah. Two balls coming at his face. Oh my. Yeah, it's not easy, man. I've been there many times, though. Oh, I know you have, man. <laughs> He's definitely got a target Elijah here. He's, I think he might, from, from what I've seen, he's maybe Ohio State's strongest catcher. So. Yep. And he's in the middle. That was yeah. a catch. He's controlling the tempo, making the calls. You got to get him out of your GV. Yeah. That brought back Ethan. That was big. 
That was really big. Yeah. Uh oh. Man, Matt's way up. Elijah was com man, that could have been bad. They oh. got another kill. Camera. Man. Wow. And that was a long throw too. Oh, ball's over? Ball's over on Grand Valley. Oh, wow. What a shift there. The catch, kill, ball's over. Oh, wow. Holy smokes, dude. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, this is a... Uh, yeah. This game has definitely been um, a roller coaster to say the least. Wish I was in person for this one. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah. See, this yeah. See, this is why... Me in the gym. Yeah. Yeah, see, this is why, like, <laughs> like when they have, like, these big tournaments, and, like, they, they be asking, like, yo, like, are you showing up? I'm like, dude, like, I want to, man, but... Yeah. You paying for my hotel? I'll show up. Yeah. <laughs> We're, we're not at that point at the business yet, my guy. Yeah. We're working towards that. Yeah. We understand that flights and hotel and food ain't cheap. Yep. Speaking of speaking of cheap, we're not being cheated out on this game, though. This... No, we're not. Yeah, time is definitely a factor in this game now because both teams... If they're not on the 10 count, they're really close to being on the 10 count, so... Kemper seems to be pushing through whatever, uh... That's oh. another kill for Ohio State. Kemper seems to be pushing bit... through whatever injury he has. Yeah, because, he's uh... he's pushing through it, man. You gotta do that, man. I, I yeah. get it. Uh, you don't get to play Grand Valley that often. Oh, no, no. Yeah, this is... Yeah, any time... biggest game of the year prior to Nationals, so... Oh yeah, without question. Ohio State gotta play really disciplined right oh. now. They gotta play really I disciplined. Got on the cross there. Yeah. Oh. Ball's over. Ball's over. That was Elijah. Was oh not no. Elijah. Yeah, that's it's brutal. I thought that throw. I, that, I thought Elijah was a close Right. Enough, but, uh, right. I thought that was a good throw, but. This is big. Uh, are they calling it a throw? We're about to find out, Kemper's man. not giving up his ball, so. He's very reluctantly trying to give up that ball. I, oh, yeah, he, no. I think, they're, I, think, I think they're calling it a throw. I think they're calling it a throw. State. Yeah, that's. That's it looked close to me from the stream, but yeah. Now now guys, ignore the clock right now. That's not important. Yeah. I mean Ign this this is this is the last point of this match, yeah. so yeah, ignore the clock. Like whatever time is going down that will be added or recalibrated, like it's irrelevant at this point. Right? So you just also, heard what my also very likely this match finishes before that clock. Yep. Out, so. yep. So you just heard Ryan right there the same. Both clocks reset. Whatever time was lost is most likely going to be added. It was kind of roughly around, I want to say, either the 410 or the four minute mark um, before it was debating that call. That's a big call. Yeah. That's a really, really big call, y'all. Yeah, I do not know any of these guys in for Grand Valley at the moment. If I can see a jersey, I can probably figure yeah. out who they are. But close, I do, close the, to the camera here, we just got a blue shirt. So the only person I recognize is Matt, and that's number eleven, way to the right side. That's the only person yeah, I recognize. Yep. Everybody else, 
unfortunately, I'm sorry. It is what it is. Yeah. But this is big now. Because I think it's only, oh, God, that's not going to work. It's only, like, two players left for Ohio State. Oh, did, no. Did he just throw a catch? He did. Yeah. Um, and it's just Thomas. He's the last play yeah, left. Yeah. And Ohio just, State does not have enough time. He needs a catch. He needs a catch here. He needs a catch or he needs to stay alive for this remainder of this point to force okay. overtime. Oh, my goodness. What are they calling here? I don't know, man. I don't know. Looks like JMU captain Nick Spears, the head ref for this game, took over. They're giving the ball back. Yeah. Is it? Oh, is balls over? It's balls oh. over, man. It is balls over. All right. Hey, I mean, in a need to catch scenario, the having Elijah is not, not definitely a good person to have. So. Oh yeah, without question. Like if this is. If yeah. Ohio State had to pick one guy to face the team throw, he would be that guy. Yeah. He would most likely be that guy. But let's see, on uh, court number three, we'll get into Akron Bowling Green game up and running. All right, it's up to Elijah now. That's not going to work. Yeah, yeah, that's not a throw. No, it's not. He got to throw another one. He knows it. He got it. He got to do it again. Oh, oh no balls. <laughs> got to get rid of it. That worked. Is that? Did that hit him? That did hit oh him. Oh, my God. Wow. I thought that bounced, but. No, he throw. hit him. I'm pretty sure that's bent. He oh. said, I'll throw it lower than you sitting on your knees. That's crazy. Yeah. Do you know how crazy your accuracy have to be to hit that type it of hit, target? Hit right in the front of the knee. That's... Two players left for so GB. One, one on two versus Grand Valley. This is a stressful situation. Oh, man, this is a stressful situation. One on one, one on one. Here we oh are. Oh my Here god! Yo, is he go Okay, shut up, shut up, shut up. I'm not gonna say anything. Be quiet, be quiet. I just gotta see oh, wait, this. Never mind, he's still in. I think it's still two on one. I, oh still man, in. I thought that was a hit. Okay, 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 yeah, I okay. I thought it was a hit. It's hard to tell in that corner, but. Man. I you can see through the curtain. Right. The whole, everyone at Pink Out that's not playing is watching this game. Ah, uh, yeah, they, they stopped play. Court two, <laughs> they. I, I mean, yeah, you. you I, I I think that I think that that's a reasonable excuse to stop play. Yep, they they literally stop warming up to see how this game's going to end. Oh man! All right, we finally do got the stream up for uh for Cincinnati and what in the world? Oh this! Oh they gonna have to fix their oof. Yikes. That's not going to be a watchable stream. Yikes. Yeah, they they're going to Yeah, they're going to have to fix that. Yikes. Here we are. All right, here we go, man. Is that Matt on the far side? For yep. Ball's over. Ball's over. Ball's over. Okay. I mean, it seems like Elijah's wanting to catch anyway. So yep. I don't, and, that, and I don't ben, know if that really hurts him there. It doesn't. And Ben Smart just called a timeout. Like I said, there's there's two ways how this is going to end: overtime or somebody's getting a point. Hey. There there is no alternatives at this point. 
See if I can actually turn in, turn up the crowd mic at the gym. Yeah. For my end. Yeah, one thing about this particular gym, like when everyone is playing, like the, the noise is kind of bouncing off of each other. Yeah. It gets really, really chaotic. Really, really fast. So. But yeah, we're at home. We can feel the tension all the way from Virginia. And they're currently playing Ohio and, and Akron. All right, here it comes. Game over. Game over. Almost. Elijah almost had the uh, <coughs> point of the season there, but uh, Grand Valley holds on. Yep. Yeah. And uh, and that's that's more or less game right there, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Um, great, hey, great game. Great game played by Ohio State, though. Yeah. Gotta give it to him. Yeah. Elijah was a warrior that last point, I will say. Yeah. Yeah, that was really... Uh, they're, they're playing another point, looks like? Yeah, I mean, nothing wrong with that, you know? Yeah. We might see some crazy pace from Ohio State here. Yeah, I think they're going to have some fun now. Yeah. But, uh, you know, best believe that um, GV is going to look at Ohio State very differently. I mean, I, I think everyone has to do. You have to. I mean, Ohio State, I think they were sitting on the outside looking in of the uh, elite teams in the league. But uh, yeah, I think they're, they're the best of the middle of the pack coming in, but I think they, that they showed that they belong. Yeah, because we literally just had the um, the power rankings yeah. come out yesterday and as of today, we got like the content team, which I didn't vote for, by the way. Just want to point that out. Uh, <laughs> currently at number 8, so just right at the very end of the Elite 8. Yeah. Which, of course, you know, they made it to Elite 8 last year, so that kind of makes sense. But, but yeah, um, really good effort by them. You know, I really appreciated the way how they responded to adversity. Yeah. When it was down to the one, they could have folded. They didn't. They really fought back to really get in that point. Um, GV, though, they just play better. Yep. You know, and that's... And that's what GV does on a lot of teams. They're going to force you to play your best dodgeball, or you're going to get steamrolled. But yep, that's, that's for sure. But um, that's going to give Ohio State a lot of confidence, you know, for the rest of the season. So you love to see it. I mean, a couple, of, uh, literally one bounce, two bounces their way, they they win this game. So absolutely, I mean, absolutely. Uh, with that, I think being, they should feel they can hang with anyone. Yeah, and I mean that's and that's like a you know that's what we're getting at. Um, well, that means that I'm pretty sure that the game should be over. Next matchup right. we're going to have um, James Madison versus Ohio University. Yeah, looks like JMU has to warm up. Yep. 